Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, we've lived cars out of the water. <laughs>
by saying, hey, you guys are putting on the actors, it's a justification to why the actors are acting. Because this wouldn't be a real business presentation per se. Nonetheless, it was still fantastic improv in the sense that you picked it up and you kept on picking it up. Um, and that was it. So I was kind of asking that question. It's almost a scene partner to you guys. Um, and that was the reason for it. If you wanted to take it, um, it was fine not to take it. It was just a problem. All right, fantastic. So we're now going to move on to the musical improv section of tonight's class. Uh, do you all need a quick five minute break? Or yeah, okay, right, let's, let's take five, come back at 11 after, and be ready to sing. Sing, sing. Wait! You got five minutes to prepare. <laughs> No, this one is uh, for like, uh, this is like the Nava President transition, which is for like the transition. Yeah, but don't worry, they just want to verify it. No, I just didn't feel like typing and all that stuff. <laughs>
taking that I was late today. Oh, I had a doctor's appointment today oh. and it took longer than I expected. Oh my god, hope everything's okay. It's fine, thank you. Okay. No problem. No problem. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes, Great. So we're going to start with a warm-up, and I'm trying to think how we want to lay this out. So we want everyone standing. We also want you standing in kind of like that zip-zap zoom thing, so Jamie can like point at individual people and say, you sing this person, you sing this person. So let's see. Um, okay, yeah, so all right. So Jamie's, Jamie's going Jamie's gonna to take over with the, uh, with the musical introduction. Cool deal. So guys, first off, you're very brave souls for, uh, for doing this, and I'm really psyched to be here tonight to sing with you. The first rule you need to know is you don't have to know how to sing to be able to do this. As a matter of fact, the worst voice you have, sometimes it comes out the funniest. I can't sing to save my life, so, um, so you can't hold me to how I sound, because I sound terrible. I usually warm up everyone with a really easy warm up exercise. So why don't everyone come on down? Um, you don't have to be formal. Throw everything formal out the window right now. Let's just have fun for the rest of class, and we'll all come together in a business sense. I promise you. Cool. So, um, so the warm up exercise is called me a ah. So do we have any singers in the room? Raise your hand. What? You, you're a singer. <laughs> 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 okay. So, so good, I've got some help. So all you have to do is sing me a ah with these scales. It's just a warm up. It doesn't matter how good or bad you do. You guys all do that? No. no. Oh, right. <laughs> Glad to hear you're with me. Here we go. One, two, three.
Ops. If that's the most team I know, it's a great exercise. It's called meet a ah. Never forget it, it's fun. Okay, next step I want you to do is, um, I'm trying to loosen up your voices, because I don't want you to hurt your vocal cords in any way when you're singing, because if we don't warm up, then we could possibly hurt ourselves. So, I want you to go as high as you possibly can go, and go all the way down to as low as you possibly can go. And you're gonna go just in a straight line, it's called a portmanteau port straight line down. So I'll give you something like, all the way to the bottom. Do it nice and loud though, and hold it. Every ounce of air in your lungs should come out. Ready? There you go. <laughs> fun? Have you fun yet? Kind of. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we're going to reverse it. As low as you can go to as high as you can go. Remember, every ounce of breath you want to get out of your lungs. So you really like warm up your diaphragm. That's the goal here. Low to high. Try to warm up with. They look at you like you're crazy, and then you do it, and then they look at you like crazy. But you guys actually sang it, and you sang it well. You sang it in tune, so you're more musical than you really you realize. Uh, and you're a singer. Sorry. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> what do we have on our list for uh, one through seven and one through five? Okay. Um, yeah. Or we could do the all my woes. I'm thinking it was a great, great day. All my woes. Okay. 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 So. Um, so we have a bunch of exercises that we um, got together and we decided to do. And these exercises help to teach you how to make up music on the spot without ever practicing, knowing it, and have it look as if you studied the song for a good six months and you're a star. Easy, right? Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is teach you a chorus. So everybody come on in. And I will go over this with you. It's 
in a it's in a minor key, right? So this would be major. This would be major. This is major. So um, it sounds. Uh, how does it sound? Sad. 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 Yeah. And what does it mean? What does this song mean to anyone? Yeah, what else? Bad time. Bad times. What else? Depression. Depression. What else? Loss. Breakup. Yeah. So you think of breakup. Okay. That's a, real, that's a real specific thing. So that's, but it's great that you said that um, because let's say it does remind you of a breakup. That chorus supports your, your, I'm sorry, the chorus that we're playing, All My Woes, this whole thing is called a chorus, and then you return to it throughout the entire song. But what happens is, is we support that chorus by making up verses in a way that kind of makes sense, that, that, would, that would make sense. So a breakup is absolutely a great idea, right? It's, perf it's perfect, all my woes. We can talk about things that are bad. So I'll just give you an example. Again, I can't sing. You don't have to rhyme, and sometimes I don't even get it right. No rules in improv whatsoever, so you can't make a mistake. So, it's, so let's all sing the, the chorus, and I'm going to do a verse for you.
much, much faster because um, basically this next exercise we're going to do is really quick and it's all about your own creativity. So I want to teach you guys that you're that it's called the soprano line when you're talking about it in music, but it's the higher line, it's the melody of the song that you hear. So we're going to get rid of the words because the words are a pain in the neck, right? <coughs> Pretty much? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So your, your words are this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Dot. I'm going to show you one way of singing. Actually, several ways of singing. And then you could decide the way you want to sing it when we come to you. So it's all about tone. It's all about singing the way you want to sing. Make sense?
<laughs> we're just going to, and also, I don't expect you to start with me exactly. I got to play it through once, feel it, you know, take time to like, you know, find that spot that you feel is comfortable. Don't make it comfortable. <laughs> really simple. Oh, okay. The easier the better. <laughs>
Bollywood. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 